at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, we always try our very, very best to bring you the highest quality cars that we possibly can. Best fit, best finish, and the best of everything. This car is over excelled in that area. It, it's, it's just over the top done. 1970 Chevrolet Nova. It does have a 454 big block in it. Polished aluminum intake manifold, Edelbrock AFB Carter carburetor on it, chrome alternator, chrome fan shrouds, flex fan on it, cast iron GM original equipment exhaust manifolds on it that are finished very nicely just the way they would have come from the factory. New plug wires, new hoses, new power brake booster, it does have power discs on it. Power steering. You can't see it, but there is an air conditioning compressor hung underneath the alternator. It does have air conditioning. Vintage air. Very, very efficient. New battery. At least a four-pass high-flow aluminum radiator to keep this guy cool. Chrome plate in the front. Brand new air conditioning condenser. All the air conditioning lines themselves are new. Inner fender panels, under the hood, everything is finished as the outside of the car. This thing has an incredible black paint job on it. Um, brand new stainless lines on the uh, uh, power brake system on this car. Brand new steering box looking at it. Chrome uh, power steering pump. Aluminum water pump. You know, it, it's one of those deals where let's see how much money we can spend on this car and how nice we can make it and they accomplish that. This is over the top. Absolutely a stunning 1970 Chevrolet Nova. Okay, we generally go over every little fit and finish and, and uh, hood gap, the fender, uh, appointments across the front, uh, the way things fit. We're going to do more of a generality on this one because this car is so well done that there's nothing that I can tell you that's out of place on it. Uh, if you look at the fit and finish on this car, the paint literally appears to be a foot deep and it's wet with water. That's the way it appears. The chrome is incredible on the car. Bill and grill in it that just it doesn't have one little mark, little tiny imperfection in it anywhere. Even the anodized aluminum is polished to a fine fit and finish. As again, you can see the fit of the hood, which is a cowl induction hood also. Gives the car a lot of flair having that cowl induction hood on it. The front end of this car is just impeccable in every way, so we're not going to go over every minute detail because everything fits the way it should or better than it ever did. Hey, going down the driver's side of our Nova, uh, again, just the fit, the finish, everything on this car is just exemplary. There's, there's really nothing to say other than the car is just as nice a vehicle as you could possibly ever put together. Some of the appointments, it does have a tinted windshield in the front. Again, no marks or anything on it. Um, the, the paint on the sides of this car is just incredible. On the top, everywhere, the, the paint appears to be a foot deep. It does have a set of really attractive 17-inch wheels on it with some high-dollar tires that are brand new, too, by the way. It has a bench seat, a four-speed, which is really, really a nice addition to any uh, Chevrolet Nova with a big block. It's nice to have a four gear in these cars. Dash pad, all the appointments in the interior are absolutely gorgeous. Everything around the windows, as you can see, there's, there's no sense going over every little detail because there's nothing to say. I, I, everything is absolutely flawless. Same way on the door to the quarter, just as nice as can be. Again, the fit, the finish of this car is just so straight, so nice. When you look down the sides of it, there's not one little tiny imperfection on this car. No marks or dents or dings or anything in it. It's just it's one of those cars that you don't have anything to say anything about other than it's as flawless as you could possibly expect a 1970 Chevrolet Nova to ever be. Hat rack, by the way, on the back is flawless like the rest of the car, just literally brand new as is the interior too, same way. All right, going around the back end of our 1970 Nova, again, you can see the fitment on this vehicle is just the same as it was on the front bumper gap. Someone spent an incredible amount of time 
aligning everything to as near perfection as you could possibly hope a 1970 Chevy Nova could be. Trim around the windows, not a mark anywhere on it. Paint in the trunk, again, a foot deep. Chrome in the back bumper and the alignment of the back bumper, just as nice as could be. Tail lights appear to be new. Uh, anodized uh, trim around the tail lights, no marks, no uh, deterioration or anything on it. Car around the back end is just as flawless as it was around the front end and down the side. This is a car we're going to do fairly quick because I can't find anything even to point out that there may be a slight imperfection in it. There isn't. Uh, down the uh, passenger side, same as the driver's side, it's going to be a short trip for us because there's absolutely nothing to say. Uh, you can see all the bright work on around the windows, uh, the drip rail, handles, wheels, tires, everything on this car is as nice as can possibly be. All new rubbers, brand new interior. The interior looks like it's never even been sat in. Same as the carpeting, the door seals still shine. Uh, original type uh, white accents through the interior that would have been correct for 69, 70, 68. You can see the door fits flawlessly the way it should. Tinted glass all around in this car, by the way, not just the windshield. Uh, the, the car is just absolutely stunning. There, there's really nothing. The paint, the fit, the finish, everything on this car is exemplary. It's one of those cars that uh, we try to get and, and present to you that, that you're buying the very, very best of what's available in that model year. Um, 1970 was a great year for them. 68 through 71 are really preferential years uh, for the Novas. That's what everybody wants. And a big block really sweetens the pie a lot, you know, having a big block. Plus a four-speed in this car. Plus steering brakes and factory, well, not factory air, but uh, vintage air, uh, air put in. Um, again, this is one of the cars that we here at Hangsters try to present to you as the very best available. Um, we have a pretty diversified inventory here. We try to keep 80 cars in Daytona Beach. We're also going to have a site in Pennsylvania that's going to house just as many cars as we do here. So keep a watch out because if we don't have it here in Daytona, it's going to be available to you in Pennsylvania. and We can ship all around the world. So they'll have the same quality cars there that you've grown to expect from hangsters here in Daytona Beach. This is a fine example of a Nova. You're not going to find a nicer one than this. It's available in Hangsters, and I don't know for how much longer. We just got it, and it's not going to last. 70 Nova, and we did a quick uh, shot around it up on top, showing you basically that there are no imperfections, that the car was just insanely correct, fit, finish, everything on top. Chrome, appointments, alignment, everything was incredible. Now I'm underneath it, and I'm going to have to spend some time and show you because you really can't see all the little things in a video that are new in this car. So we're going to be here a while. Um, new springs, new shocks, new ball joints, new tie rod ends, new steering arm, new steering box, new pitman arm, new idler arm, new brake lines new uh, calipers, new rotors, new brake line or uh, uh, fuel line, 3 8 as would be correct for a uh, big block car. New brake lines going down the side. All new springs, all new hardware for the clutch, all new hardware for the uh, exhaust manifolds which are the standard cast iron manifolds. New clutch, new pressure plate, new flywheel. You notice the oil pan is also new. No leaks whatsoever, no leaks on the bell housing. Uh, tranny, just as dry as a bone, M21. Uh, four speed in this particular car. Shift rods are still black anodized the way they were from the factory. Stainless steel exhaust manifold pipes. Uh, two and a eighth inch pipes coming off the two and a quarters that came off the exhaust manifolds. Subframes, absolutely flawless. No marks, no scrapes, no nothing on them anywhere. Floor pans, just as they would have left the factory new. All the substructures new. Speedometer cables new. New clutch spring, new steering box. I think I mentioned that. 
Um, new parking brake, entire assembly. You can see that this is a new brake cable going to the new brake cable to the rear. A uh, new adjustment arm for it. Everything is absolutely brand new on the parking brake assemblies. New drive shaft, new universal joints. The floor pans going toward the back of the car are absolutely flawless. Substructures the same way. Just as nice as could possibly be. Two and an eighth pipes terminating into two Flowmaster mufflers that are also brand new. The, the car has everything absolutely brand new, just the way it, way it would have been if it left the factory in 1970 new. Everything is still bright and shiny and nice and clean and crisp. Great looking car so far. Okay, going back through the rest of our uh, 1970 Nova. Again, floor pans toward the rear. Nice as could possibly be. The subframes, substructures in the back are nice. No jacking marks or kinks or anything on them. Uh, correct mono leaf rear suspension in this vehicle. Drum brakes in the back as they should be from the factory in 1970. Stainless steel pipes, by the way, for the exhaust and including the tailpipes, which are also stainless steel. Uh, 10 bolt rear end. No leaks on it also, you can see. Floor pans in the trunk appear to all be really, really nice and straight. Drop downs into quarters, there's no marks or anything. You can see where the pinch wells are on them. They still have the, uh, the drain plug uh, uh, little gizzies in them that uh, would be there from the factory. The rear bumper is nice and clean. The substructure behind the bumper the same way. Nice and clean and painted just the way it would have been in 1970 when it left the factory. Uh, new uh, gas tank, uh, new uh, gauge for the uh, gas tank. I can see the whole uh, the fuel line and everything and wiring is all brand new. Can't see on top, but I know that has a brand new uh, sending unit and everything in it. This car is literally brand spanking new underneath. The way it was in 1970 when it left the factory, I can't see one thing on this car underneath that I could possibly uh, you know, de describe as a, an issue for someone that it would deter them from buying this vehicle. The car is just as nice underneath as it is on top. It's an absolute, absolute gorgeous 1970 Chevy Nova. Big block car, four speed car, lots of fun, lots of torque. Available at Hankster's Daytona, Florida.